Thank you for listening today on Revealing Wholeness, sponsored by Infinity Whole Health. Check out our website at infinitywholehealth.com, where we are revealing the eternal in each individual, the infinite in the individual. The creativity is made manifest. Limitation is let go. Now, here's your host, Dr. Troy Munson. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy Munson. In the Northwest, we have such amazing climates and mountain ranges, and hiking is just kind of one of those things that we just love to do. And Mount Rainier is spectacular. If you've ever been around the Seattle area, you've you've caught us on a sunny day, you've seen this massive mountain. Uh, it makes me think when my wife talked about Colorado, when she was in the town that is where Pikes Peak, you can see it, they would point at the mountain and she'd look around and she's like, uh, pretty much there's a bunch of peaks everywhere. Not sure what you're pointing at. And, you know, you say Pikes Peak is the the highest point in North America or whatever it is in, in particular in the United States, North America. And you know, you look at it and you're just like, uh, which one is it? And of course the locals know which one it is, which is fine, but it's it's kind of comical. But when you're in Washington State and, you know, every hill is maybe a thousand feet high and then all of a sudden you see a 14,400 foot mountain and it's white year round and you're like, wow, that that's impressive. And so Mount Rainier is, is a huge attraction, especially for folks in my area. We're about 30 miles outside the mountain. And we'll go and hike often, but there's some hikes that I like better than others. And as hiking goes, you get to a point where you're just like, it's another tree. Yep, it's the woods. And hiking can lose, uh, for me anyways, I, I get kind of bored with it. And people are like, how could you get bored with it? The scenery is so amazing. My wife will say that sometimes. And I said, you know, having been an athlete all my life, I... I actually kind of like resting a bit more now. I've been go, go, go for so long that sometimes it's just really nice not to go hiking. But that said, I do enjoy this particular hike. It's not a difficult one, but there is a kind of landlocked lake up in, or rather by Mount Rainier. And if you know anything about Mount Rainier, you know probably where Reflection Lake is. And from Reflection Lake, you go just a little further, and there's this little pull-off off off the road that is actually paved, and it is called Bench Lake. And I believe if you go beyond Bench Lake, there is Snow Lake or Snowfield Lake, and it literally has kind of snow running into it year-round. It is freezing cold. So it has this this waterway going in and water going out. So it's a moving lake. So it's cold. But Bench Lake, you know, people get there and like, ah, this is kind of muddy. It's kind of dirty. You're right. But I'll tell you what, it's also about 80 degrees. And it might even be as warm as 85 right now in that lake. And you're thinking a mountain lake at 4,000 foot elevation and it's 85 degrees. It is amazing. You'll find salamanders in there, and if you don't mind, and if you're not squeamish at all, it's an excellent lake to go swimming in. It is so nice and warm. It's a great destination, especially when you're warm. It's not a lot of uphill stuff. It's not like Pinnacle Peak, which is phenomenal, which is right before Bench Lake, and it's 1.3 miles, but it's straight up. And if you've done it, you get to the saddle, and you're looking at Mount Adams, uh, Mount Hood off in the distance, Mount St. Helens, and of course behind you is Mount Rainier. And it's it's a spectacular hike if you've ever done Pinnacle Peak at Mount Rainier. But I like Bench Lake just because it's, it's scenic in and of itself. It's warm. It's quick. It's refreshing. It's awesome. So if you're ever going to do some hiking around Mount Rainier, it's a little bit off the beaten path, but take your swim trunks or don't. I know even in Yellowstone, when uh, we do some hiking around there, it's clothing optional at a lot of the remote areas. So don't be shocked if you're doing some Yellowstone hiking. And one of my favorite, just as a, as a bonus for those of you that have listened long enough, 
one of my favorite hikes or at least destinations for uh, Yellowstone, because I used to work there for a summer, that if you're going out the south entrance towards Jackson Hole, there is Moose River Falls, and it's awesome. The water's fairly temperate, and it's about a 15-foot, maybe 20-foot falls. You can actually swim behind it. There's probably warning signs, so obviously your own risk of wood floating down and going over the waterfalls, but, you know, it it's not so... Oh, hairy or dangerous that you're kind of worried about wood coming over the waterfall. But it's pretty cool little little area to go swimming in and just cool off if you're heading towards Jackson Hole or getting done at the park for a day. It's a great place to pull off. I don't know how many people visit it now. It was so remote when I was there 30 years ago, but I'm sure as you know, populations grow and things get busier. It's probably visited quite a little bit. It was very clean when I went back then. Uh, We were just at Yellowstone and of course the the whole road is washed out. We're staying in Gardner so we couldn't see the the park but it was one of the places I did want to go and I'm sure I'll be back to go in the the west entrance or the south entrance and visit some of my favorite stomping grounds as we used to go. So hope this helps for some of you that like uh, hiking and if you've got your favorite destination that's something like that, love to hear about another state. Love to visit and do some hiking in your area. So drop me a line, shoot me a text. I'd love to love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Troy Munson. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach Dr. Munson at 360-893-8586 or email him at chiroman at dr.com. That's C-H-I-R-O-M-A-N at dr.com. Check out our current workshop schedule on Facebook at Infinity Whole Health.